Hi, this is Matthias Mineski, the Logic Ministry of Trying, and uh, today I'd like to show you a very interesting technique for double stops. It seems like everything about the right hand technique on a guitar has been said many years ago, and you can't really find new ways of doing the same things. And as, as you probably watched my other videos, uh, you know that I'm mm, very uh, curious about exploring different ways of doing the same things uh, just to keep things interesting and maybe discover something new something that would push me uh, in some new direction so uh, today I'd like to show you uh, something that I keep working on this is not something that I've mastered but it, I want to share it because it's really interesting things very interesting new fresh approach to a right hand picking technique no matter whether you play with flat pick or a thumb pick uh, so I'll do the close-up shots so you can see uh, what is going on all right all right so here we are up close and personal with my picking hand and uh, let's uh, see what techniques do we have when it comes to double stops so double stops which I mean playing two notes at the same time Most commonly you will see just two notes being strummed by a single single movement of your wrist, single strum of a pick. Both down strokes and up strokes. And uh, of course you can use some other techniques to uh, give you some more clarity. You can use hybrid picking, which is using pick and a finger at the same time. You can uh, use your thumb and one of the fingers. The same thing applies to thumb pick and fingers. You can strum two strings with your thumb pick. But the uh, thing that uh, I found out some time ago is a technique that is basically in between strumming two strings with a single movement of flat pick or thumb pick and finger and uh, this is like a secret weapon that I first seen uh, Scotty Anderson playing using this technique a lot and uh, it's something uh, something very clever because I will use my pick to play lower sounding note and the fingernail of my index finger to play the higher sounding note so let's say I have a pair of notes on second and third string so instead of strumming them both with my pick I'll keep my fingernail and the edge of my pick exposed onto the uh, surface of the strings and uh, my pick and my thumb and, uh, and my fingernail they keep the same distance so they're like two picks working simultaneously in the same in the same area uh, what is quite interesting is that uh, you can play both down strokes and up strokes using this technique So 
this is uh, this is the sound that you get. Uh, it's it's a it's a nuance. It's a little it's a little detail, but it changes uh, quite a bit how those double stops sound because they're much closer to two guitar parts recorded than uh, something that is being played on a on a single guitar. Usually, when you think of double stops, they are strummed, and when we want to get uh, a little higher tempos. Is pretty much of uh, pretty much of uh, broad movements involved. I have to sweep through those two strings up and down, and I can get much clearer, much tighter sound because those two strings are strummed at the same time. So there's no no arpeggiating, no and uh, there's no delay between the strings. So this is very very clever way to play double stops. Now it's time for a couple of licks using this technique. Basically, a little boogie pattern, but it's harmonized according to the chord tones. So it gives us the impression of two guitars harmonizing, but it's being played by one player. And what I do here is a major chord just with a bar on second finger so it's open A second 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 and uh, to make this thing groove I play fifth and fourth string then I use my pinky and ring finger on fourth fret of fourth and fifth string then back to A major chord and two middle strings, two middle strings on fourth fret, second and third string. So these are my note choices. And uh, to make the rhythm work, here and there. Uh, another thing, whenever we have uh, our our double stop licks, I try to use this technique all the time. So for example here we got something with the flavor of Jerry Reed. and I strum those two strings using my my uh, index finger nail and uh, flat pick. Uh, well, of course, every blues lick, everything that is based on minor blues scale or pentatonic will work with it. Um, and basically, whenever you feel that there are two adjacent strings that will sound good, as a double stop, you can make this this little 
change to your picking hand because you, there is nothing in the way uh, of your index finger. You don't have to change the position of your of your picking hand. It just it's just there all the time. We really don't think about those uh, techniques and that are very very useful and they require maybe some getting used to. Uh, but again, uh, this is not something that you have to spend all the time practicing. It's just about finding the uh, right angle of your picking hand and uh, at some point it just clicks and it stays there. So uh, have fun and explore a new way of doing things on the guitar. And see you next time.